venture here? Or was it here that you started? Uh, no, I started in the cricket club in Northumberland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. When was that? February of 2017. Okay. Well, I run a summer club first, the summer before, um, the August before. Uh, just to sort of gauge interest and see if, if there was a need in a town. Working with the same clients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with young people, really you know, really yeah. really yeah. 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 um, we just found that there really was. So in February 2017, I officially opened because I had to become a premise of mine, which was a town council, as well. And then um, I opened officially in February from the cricket club. But then um, we needed a permanent premises because we had uh, people come to us for three days a week. And it was packing up each day when we was at the cricket club, so we just needed some sort of security. So this happened to come along the church, and they offered us five days a week. So um, we've been here since last May, um, but we're outgrowing this place now. Well, that's a, that was what, one of the reasons. So when you say you've outgrown, so yeah. you're here five days a week, so it's Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday, yeah. And um, is this coming towards the end of a service? You know, I've been here for that last night. Is this, or is yeah. this just a pause? Will no, more people come no, in? No, our tea room's open from 12 to half past 2. Right. But our tea room's only open Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Okay. And I run a day service here, Wednesday, Thursday. Tell me a bit more about the day service. So the What's day that service like? is for um, young adults with quiet needs, so they can't be in the tea room environment. So we need a quiet room environment for them. So on a Wednesday, they make cards and clearings. And on a Wednesday afternoon, we have a drama session. And then Thursday, we go out in the community and we do baking as well. So, um, the problem is I'm turning people away on the day service side and I'm turning people away on the tea room side. So I'm at capacity in both at the moment. And in terms, so that's 10, 10 till 2.30 did you say, the tea room? No, tea rooms, the guys come in at half past nine till half past three and they make all the cakes fresh every morning. Um, and then the customers come in from 12, 12 o'clock to half past So that's the people with the learning... Uh, no, customers come, oh yes, they come in from half past nine. But they're, they're involved in the making. As well as the, so everything, everything you're doing, everything we do. I mean, I've, I've been served and, and I've seen um, uh, people doing the till and everything. Yeah, everything. And it is absolutely yeah, they, they make the scones, they make the cakes, they get the fillings ready for the jacket potatoes. Um, we set the tables, get them ready, serve the customers when they yeah. come in. The full. Yeah. And then when, we, when they're finished, at half past two, we tidy up and then we have our staff lunch together. Right. And then they get picked up from half past three. So, what's the challenges in terms of, so you're looking, you, you're saying you've outgrown it. Yeah. We is have. it that the, you need more tables? Is it phys the physical space or is it the type of space? What's going to so need? What we need is um, enough room to have our tea room open five days a week or possibly six days on a Saturday because a lot of people can't come to a group because they work. Um, and our day service is five days a week. But they can't be in the same room. They have to be separate areas because you've got different needs. So we need a quiet area for the day service side of it. So we need a building that can have both going on. And at the moment, part of council are going to help me. So who are you speaking to? Uh, Will Hales and part of council. Yeah, so they're going to help me find somewhere. And, and you're funded by Essex? No. Right, so you said you had to be an approved so supplier. An approved supplier, so I had to. So that's just Go through the because of the, the people that you're working yeah, with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, with regards to funding, I've self funded the whole lot. Um, I worked two jobs to start it um, St Elizabeth's and PA, which is a personal assistant to two people with disabilities. Um, and I just started it all myself, basically. From and in terms of from a business point of view, um, keeping your head above water. I am, yeah, it is now because some of the guys have come through their spot funding for Essex County Council um, and the tea rooms income is what really pays the bills. Okay. Yeah. And have you sort of looked at what you're doing from a strategic point of view in terms of the, um, rather than just making an assessment of the local need, have you spoken to Essex about what their priorities are in terms of health and well-being and things like that? Um, no, not really. I haven't okay. really had any discussions. Because one of, the, one of the reasons, as well as getting a clearer handle on um, where you're at and what you're doing and what the challenges are and what your hopes and aspirations are, is I'm the chair of Harlow's Health and Wellbeing Board. Oh, okay. 
So what I was um, planning to do was to invite you to come along to one of the board meetings where we have a whole range of different uh, health and wellbeing specialists from not just Harlow, from the city. we work working closely with Rainbow Services, um, we've got links with people at the hospital, we've got key links with people providing in different areas of provision at Essex on the mental health, physical health side. And one I thought at the very least they need to know about what you're doing. But also in terms of growth and responding to the challenges that you've got, it's by talking to those people sometimes that some of the solutions, you know, some in terms of if you turn around and say, you know, oh, you know, we could do so much more if we want a bigger space, you just happen to make that, that comment to someone who knows someone who's just vacating. Um, yeah, exactly. another area. So, yeah. I mean, if that's something that you'd be interested yeah, in, I'll, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you've got a card or something that you're yeah. giving you. I know, I've got it from the website. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and then, you know, just whether there's any other immediate things that uh, you've got a contact with the council, which is great. Yeah. Um, that does, you'll know by experience that doesn't mean that there's a sort of it's just a question of filling out the form. No, exactly. Yeah, uh, that's have right. you looked at any other alternative places? Uh, not yet, no, no, but um, I think we will be quite soon.